What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Right there. The Matco truck is here. So let's take a look and see what Matco Michael's got. You guys, come on. That happens every now and then, right? The way that sun's coming through them funny little clouds out there, it's bright. Well, at least it ain't pouring down rain, right? That is true. I think it's supposed to start back, what, tomorrow? I don't know. I can tell you this much. We was in Tampa. It was 78. We drive back here and it's 37. Well, Monday we had some 70 degree weather and we loved it. And Tuesday wasn't bad either. Well, it was I nice down there. I don't know what got into Wednesday, but it let us know real quick that that wasn't normal right here. It was like June down there. It was <laughs> it was nice. I say you finally got it in. So I do. So we finally got it in, um, which of course the, the quarter inch is out as well. Um, the half inch is out. I haven't got those in yet but neither should start seeing them pretty rapidly mm -hmm. now that um as far as this one goes i know we got uh three of these in and most some people had got them before i did so right they should start coming in pretty pretty good now um hopefully we'll see the quarter and the half inch coming just any day hopefully um, i know a lot of people are really rooting for it to go on the black handles too so uh we'll see what we can do but hey you know yeah. Along with that, but uh, <laughs> well, the, it actually come in. You know, I said on the video last week we had some packages at UPS went straight from here to there, and sure enough, they were there. there it was, it's, huh? It's like, wow, well, if they'd let us pick up before nine, we could have some <laughs> of that stuff. But you know, they got the rules. So, well, that is definitely my favorite size ratchet right there. Yeah. Um, I want one bad, but I just, uh, there's so many people want to buy them, I don't want to take it off, but uh, I have a green one right now, but I, I like that blue. I bet you your Matco dealer would take a trade in. Well, I bet he would too, but there's so many people wanting them right now, I don't want to, I don't want to get in the way you of it. You might have so. to take her out to eat supper to get a little <laughs> bit better advantage on your trade in value, but hey, whatever. I well, but we also got the, uh, I know we've showed the videos on it and stuff, but we got the image and camera on this week we're letting guys um kind of hands-on use it right. touch it show some of the benefits of it um if they haven't if if the people watching it haven't seen it they need to go back and watch your video on mm -hmm. it because there's a lot of cool features on it uh, it's actually got a uh i think what the techs are liking the most about it, it's got a database yeah. um so i knew thermal imaging could be used for a lot more but i didn't know that it could use be, be used for what it says that you know uh, I've never thought about checking a coil with one. I've never thought mm -hmm. about checking a pulley with one. You know, normally it's you're taking a pry bar and you're putting it on the bolt and listening, listening to it. Right. Yeah, this one's the one bad, but I guarantee you, you know, that's <laughs> yep, that's it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it lets you check whether or not an alternator is charging. And you know, there's there's several different things. Uh, blend doors, which blend doors make sense, right? But right. Um, as far as hot and cold blend doors, but um, it just I, there's a lot on there that I didn't even think about so it's it's pretty cool to watch pretty cool to see and the fact that it has the known good and the known bad right I think that's a big thing because mm -hmm. when they first started coming out with weight or things to check wave patterns with they didn't have known goods or bads so you'd plug it in okay well there's the wave pattern is it good or bad <laughs> yeah. um, so they've got a lot more advanced than that there's a lot more known and good bads out there that that's good but I'm gonna tell you when they first started making us do it, um, we had a tech line that was that if if you thought something was odd, they wanted you to do a waveform, and they would tell you if it was good and bad. Well, yeah, that takes too much time. I'm on commission. I need to know, yeah. you know, like yeah, you which now. certain things right. you can, you know, if it's got multiple on a vehicle, you can run and well, this wheel speed sensor looked like this. Let me see what this one looks like, or you know, crank signals and stuff like that. But 
I like that it's right there on the tool. Okay, mm -hmm. this is what I've got. This it, it lets you take a it lets you screenshot it. So therefore, I can screenshot it, look at the known good, look at the known bad, go back and look at mine and see if it falls right. anywhere in between. So that's a good too. They are kind of a little, um, they are a little pricey. You know, they're around a thousand dollars or so uh, above or below at different times. But you know, if you want a good one, that's that's the way to go. Um, Definitely. I've seen I've seen a lot a lot cheaper. I don't know how good they are. I don't I don't own one, so I haven't got to play with one. But I like that one there. So, well, preacher man, he's got you some milk glasses up here. Yeah, that's milk. That's that's what those are for. Think you could drink all four of them at one time? Depends on how stressful a day I've had. <laughs> Back here hiding, being all quiet. That's what I heard. But I ain't never, Larry King said that I've never learned a thing <laughs> asking the question, you know, while I was talking, I think is why he that's, said it. That's right. But I see you got the magnetic socket sets in those. So, cool. you know, we, we did last week where we talked about some tools that were, you know, fairly well priced that, um, that were needed. Them sockets right there will save your butt in, in certain, um, circumstances mm -hmm. uh, we've all had that or we were trying to put plastic down in the socket and put the bolt in there to hold it yeah um, that you know if you can't hardly touch it much less see it those are there yet they're just a little well, over a hundred dollars I think um, but I mean when you're buying sockets to get you out of a tight that that's them there yeah and, and they do make inserts and we sell some we sell inserts that you can put in your sockets and stuff um, but my, my only belief on that is if, if the insert goes in nice and easy, at some point it's going to try to come out too. Mm. So I would rather just well, go I got ahead. a set of those inserts, and they yeah. are tough to get out. Well, <laughs> like yeah. but like You have to take a peek and yeah, dig so them out I, on And those. I've sold a bunch of them. Uh, but, you know, I guess if you've already got quarter-inch sockets and you don't want to have to buy new ones, mm. that's the way to go. Um, but if you're you're just starting out and you get trying to get quarter inch, why not have the magnet ones right off the bat, yeah. right? Um, I've got so. the three quarter inch or three eighths drive of those, and yeah, they come yeah. in handy. Yeah, we've 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 sold quite a few sets of the, of the magnets, and and they seem to like them really well. But um, I like I like seeing people put the magnets in the swivels because yeah. normally if you're using a swivel, it's in a tight spot anyway. So that's what we do, like on changing transmissions for bell housing bolts. Yeah. And I got that insert in a semi-deep. Yeah. I'll stick it in there, man. You just run it up there with extension and yep. so you ain't got to worry about dropping it. That's it. You know, and it's always good to start it with your hands. I understand that. But sometimes you barely get socket in there. Well, I do. I start it with my hand. Yeah. And then once I feel it straighted up, man, I'll run that puppy up there. <laughs> That's right. That 2779, just mash the gas and let it tell you when to stop. So you're talking about the transmissions. If a lot of the people don't have one of these extensions, oh, yeah, they're missing out. They're worth their weight in gold. So we normally have it hanging on the ceiling, but it started vibrating. But it's half inch on the end, mm -hmm. three eighths on this end. And it's, this one has a lock ring on the, the end of it. I'm gonna tell you that right there will make transmissions. Well, you know, I bought a half inch to half inch from you, and yeah. then I bought a half inch to three eighths. That's right. And what I do is like on a day cab truck. Now this is how lazy I am, preacher man. This <laughs> bad, I'm gonna tell off on myself. I'll get put the transmission jack underneath it and get everything lined up like it needs to be after I get the drive line done. I will stand behind the truck and take the bell housing bolts loose instead of crawling underneath that thing. Hey, I, I don't think I that's late. That's I think smart. That's because really with two of them extensions, you know, I get all the iron lines, everything ready to go. I will put them two extensions together and that 2779 has got enough torque, <clears throat> even with all of that torque loss, going through 60 something inches worth of extensions and a u universal joint, Yeah, it'll take it out. And I'll just shake them bell housing bolts let them drop and then grab the next one. So I'm just grabbing a swivel. I ain't grabbing a, a specific size. But if, if you're doing a transmission, this little setup right here, yep. either this and this and this. Now, <clears throat> it definitely with, with that many extensions, you're going to go with this one. 
but I've got a lot of people who are doing transmissions in like the the cars and trucks, the, the light, the light duty stuff, you know, your maximums, mm -hmm. optimums and stuff like that. This thing gets really good tight spots. So if you got this, you know, and they're not torque near as much as on them, on them, uh, uh, over the road trucks and stuff, but you know, in a smaller car, this right here, an extension and a swivel, man, you can do a transmission in no time. Yeah. And these are both, these are both got really good power. Of course, this one is more, but, um, if y'all don't, if y'all have never used one of these, I ask your dealer if he's got a demo. Um, mm -hmm. They're awesome. Because I've got one up there. I've actually got one that I repoed. Um, and There you go. There's your bargain on one right there. Well, yeah, and, and it was kind of weird. I had to repo it earlier than what normal, so there hadn't been a lot of payments on it. So the price for it to be used and beat up, the price wasn't right for a repo, right? So I just put it as a demo. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I have to buy demos anyway, so why not? Why not just use one that I've already got money invested right. in, uh, and I'm gonna let people use it, and then um, when when I feel like the money can go down on it, and you know I've got my use out of it, I'm gonna sell it. But the guys that use it absolutely love mm -hmm. it. They you know they they either have one of the snap-ons or our older, which our older impact was was great as well. Um, and when they originally changed and went to the new ones. Um, most of the guys at the meeting was like man can you make it any better you know yeah. why are we changing well i know you know mine the reason why i ended up with the 2779 was because of the deal you know snap on had come out with the pt850 and it sucked and then they decided well we can't sell these so we're going to bring back the you know the mg725 so i i got up with hamilton i seen a post where they they was fixing to re-release it i sent him a text i said order me one well then, six weeks later, when it finally come in, Thomas sold it before he even got here that week. He didn't know that it was supposed to be for me. And it pissed me off, and Hamilton's like, well, I can get another one in a couple of weeks. I said, you know what, don't worry about it. Then I bought the, the Matco from you, and I'm gonna tell you, I can't be, that's, I'm proud that happened that way. Yeah. Because really I'm very, very satisfied with that impact. Well, and for that exact reason that you said, Snap on come out with another one mm -hmm. that didn't live up to their expectation. That's what scared us on this one. When it first came out, we were like, God, you know, we're selling the other one so good. I hope that nothing changed. You know, I hope that if anything, it got much better. And eh, it, it lived up to our hype, man. We, we don't miss it at all. You know, it's for the guys that still got the older one, you've got a great impact. Mm -hmm. This one here is just a little stronger, stronger right? Yeah. So there's always an upgrade awesome. at some Both point. Both of those right? impacts are great. Because remember, I traded my Mac impact in on the, uh, the smaller the stubby one. one. Yeah, yeah, I think the it, it, somebody else bought it right after that. I can't. I think we did it all in the same video. But, but I was like, wow, well, I'm, I'm going to get it. I, was, I like the full size so much. I said, I, I'm going to have the stubby to go with it. Yeah, so. uh, I, and a lot of people really like that stubby. Um, for the for the main thing they like it just because the buttons are on the back so they can press them on the back they can mm -hmm. keep their hand on it and they're not they're not trying to rotate their hand to the trigger but also um it's just so small it gets in tight spots yeah um i know we got a long extension there because some of the jobs require us to be way back but some of them require us mm -hmm. to be in a spot that you know you're barely getting a ratchet and wrench in there and if we can get something small in there that an impact can break it loose it really helps yeah. Um, I've sold more to um, just randomly sales to, to lawn care guys because they realize that they can they can get their deck up and take their lawnmower blades out with yeah, it and it makes that just that, that cool bunch yeah. quicker, right? So um, the bigger one's just too big for that, but that smaller one fits in there and takes it right out. So well, it's strong. Which I know everybody's going into battery slowly, you know, but it's still great to have an air impact. You know, we've discussed that and we yep. talked about that, but that's that's one of those things. But. Well, is that blue ratchet mine? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, um, it or one of the ones in here can be. Are they, they still in the plastic in there? <clears throat> uh, but oh, either way, we, we've got one put back for you. I just didn't know. Um, I knew you said you had a limited amount. I was like, I hope that was mine. <laughs> well, we actually, <laughs> so uh, we were, they, they're so popular, we actually really haven't showed them this week. Yeah. Um, because of that, you know, we haven't put them on the ceiling or anything. We've had one up here to get everybody's hops up, but right. um, I wanted to have it for the video because I knew I didn't have anything really else new coming in this week. 
Um, we got some newer stuff coming in, but um, speaking of newer stuff coming in, um, one of the things that's fixing to come in uh, is going to be, and everybody's been waiting on it, so uh, I, I may be a little early on showing this, but that's okay. Just don't, don't tell nobody. But that's just point us. Yeah, nobody else uh, has to know. The quarter inch extended is coming. <laughs> Look at out. her life, and she's like, "Oh yeah, you just let the cat out of the bag." Yeah. Well, and I have people calling me. That's why I'm showing this. I have people asking and calling me, and I talked to a gentleman yesterday. He had some really good questions about it. Um, so we all we do have the quarter inch coming out. Um, it's new. It's it's going to have a little bit more uh, free speed on the RPM, mm -hmm. um, but it looks like everything else is going to maintain to be the same. So I, I'm really interested to see because you know the head on the three eighths is super small. Right. I, I'm. I haven't had my hands on one it's yet. It's going to be some kind of tiny if they keep it's, that same scale going. Well, it's either going to be the exact same or it's right. going to be a, a smaller. And uh, the way they worded it here, uh, like I said, I haven't I haven't got my hands on it. But the way they worded it is the only difference is the RPM is higher. So mm -hmm. the quarter inch is going to be the same as the 3 eighths, which is amazing to me because the, the guy that I talked to, is actually he works in on marine stuff. So he uses quarter inch all the time. So for him to be able to have a quarter inch that the 3 8 is doing, that's that's great. So mm -hmm. but that is coming out. Um, I told y'all last week that I was gonna try to get some information on some newer stuff. So that's one thing. Um, cool. But that's the sale coming up uh, in February. So we've got a list, a notebook with a list in it of stuff that we're trying to, to get on it. So but. Well, that's awesome. All right, guys, I guess we're going to wrap this thing up. I'll see the new blue ratchet. That's a good thing. Like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down in the description. And if you're not subscribed, click that button. Just press it. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.